I'll get it. <laughs> All right, let me open this back up. Don't forget to hit record. We are now streaming, guys. Okay, record. And we are now recording. All right, I'm just gonna check really quickly, excited as we are getting ready to do this thing. Okay, are we ready to share? Cause I'm ready to hit the share button. Go for it. It should be up and rolling. All right. Do we see it online? Yes, I shared it on my page. I also shared it in the event. So okay. Then both places. Yes, I see it on my page also. Okay. I just don't see it on mine. Okay. So if it's on yours, it has to be on mine and I see it in the the live book launch. Yes, I shared it there, but I, I got it from your page. So it okay. is on your page. All right. So hello, everybody in Facebook world. Um, my name is Rose A. Walker, and I am an intuitive life and business strategist. And I am the founder, co-founder of this amazing, amazing, amazing group of powerful entrepreneurs that are walking in their many gifts and talents daily, unapologetically. And we're here to launch our new book called Just Say Yes. So I'm excited because we're going to highlight a couple, we're going to highlight everybody today. You're going to get to meet them and hear a couple things from them and make sure you go on their page or inbox them and grab their book. So guys, thank you so much for being on Wave to the World. Hey. All right, guys, we are gonna go ahead and get started on this beautiful, beautiful uh, July 13th, 2019. And today I get to start with the man, uh, the man who uh, jumped on board with this project with, 13 other women. <laughs> and um, it's just been an honor to connect with this great gentleman, but uh, another, no other than Mr. Reginald Kingdom Or, How are you today? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing great. Just wanna tell you, it's been a pleasure to, um, to work with you and help you birth this first project because I know you have many more um, to come. And um, so just really quickly, let everybody know um, a little bit about your platform and what you stand for. Yes, uh, Kingdom Works, where we build capacity for greatness. Uh, we think that a changed mind is a renewed mind. And if you change your thinking, you change the world. And if you can change your world, you can change reality that's transpiring in your world. Awesome. So, you know, you were part of this book. And one of the questions that we talked about in this book was about being, um, about just saying yes. So in your platform, what do you advise people about when it means just saying yes and just being unapologetic about doing what you know you're here to do? It's basically being uncomfortable so others can be comfortable. It's basically dying to self so others can live. Basically watering their seeds so they can grow. We believe that a changed mind is a renewed mind, like I said, and we believe that it, with the right ideas, with the right strategies and with the right concepts that you'll be well rounded so you can grow. Um, our vision is to restore mankind. If you fix the man, you fix the home. Mm -hmm. And if you can fix the home, you can fix the world. So it's basically just, just being that, that representation for others so that they can see that someone's come before them or someone is doing exactly what they want to do. So wow. basically just just doing what needs to be done to get everything done. That's basically wow. 
Yes, that's, yes, ma'am. That's amazing. So let me ask you this one thing on this last piece. Through this journey of these last six months, this because this is a process of of digging in to pull out things about yourself and positioning um, yourself because you're around another group of people that are going in the same direction. What right. has been one pivotal thing that has happened to you as you've been working on this project? Man, basically just um, morphed. I've I've evolved and through from a boy to a man. Paul said when I was a child, I acted as a child, and when I grew up I put away childish things and I can remember back in Genesis Moses when he had become grown basically he had enough degrees and basically he was ready to go and free the people and you can't free a mindset unless you are free so mm. basically just I don't know just just getting out of my comfort zone being like I said, getting out of my comfort comfort zone, leaping, growing my wings on the way down, and just finding that balance that needed so I so I can just win others. Being 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 that representation, like I said, for the family. Because at the end of the day, we have one life to live, and we was only sent here in this one vehicle. And the author of Millionaire Success Habit says, one hundred and fifty thousand people die daily. So one life, and it's about honor and legacy, honoring those that came before you and being a trailblazer for the ones that's coming behind you. That's basically what it is. Wow. Listen, I am blown away. I want to thank you so much for being a part of this. I want to thank you so much for taking the time this morning to be on with us and sharing your knowledge, sharing your journey and um, your platform. And I'm excited to con continue to connect with you um, after this project because I can see you going so many places because I always tell you, you are a, uh, a diamond in the rough representing so many males that want to come where you are and we need you to keep doing what you're doing so they can stand up. Thank you so much, Reginald. And I'm excited about you selling thousands and thousands of books. Man, thank you for the opportunity. I'm grateful. All right. Yay. So guys, you just a little taste of one of our authors. Yes, ladies, go ahead and clap those hands. I'm just honored to be with this gentleman and all of you guys has literally just bless my day to day. So I'm so excited to bring up the next speaker. This young lady, let me tell you, um, it's interesting when you meet people and you connect with them on the first conversation to where you just knew that you guys were supposed to talk that day. And I know many of you watching have had uh, times like that when you meet somebody and you're like, you know what, we were definitely, definitely supposed to connect. And, and it wasn't for a minute, but it was for more of a season or even longer than that. So I want to bring on this beautiful woman who has not only been a part of the book, but she has been a part of the full process of not just helping me, but everybody. And I just love her for that. I want to bring on Miss Renetta. You there? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm here. Good morning. I Listen, I am so glad from that first conversation that we had to now to see that we have finished this process and now everybody is meeting each other. But I just want to um, ask you a, some questions really quickly. And with the book, you know, all about just saying yes and being unapologetic. When did you realize that you had to say yes to your calling and how did you get started? Okay, when I think back on that, I can think back to when I was a child. I didn't do anything according to the status quo. I bucked the system at every turn, okay? I just didn't know a label to put on it. But in terms of education and you'll have to buy the book to get all the information but um from the, like i said from the age of a child i knew because i just did not go with the flow of how everyone else was processing you know through life i had to do it my own way so fast forward i became an entrepreneur because that's just a natural fit jobs didn't work for me um just life was just different for me than it was for other people. And now I know why, because I was destined to be an entrepreneur. 
I like that destined to be an entrepreneur. I think with this particular project, this is a, a definitely a hashtag for this book project. And um, just to bring awareness to people that are second guessing themselves, that are wondering, okay, am I supposed to be doing this? Uh, it feels uncomfortable to me, but in my gut, I know I'm supposed to be walking in this. I know I'm supposed to be doing something different. And I think that we do need more people to confirm that of what you're saying that you just knew and then you allowed yourself to go ahead and do that even though it may be disrupting everything you may have been taught to do. Absolutely. Well, okay. Absolutely. So Miss Renetta, real quick, you've been through this process. Um, it's been six months. What has been one pivotal thing that has happened to you in this process of doing this book? One thing that just really stands out in my mind is it forced me to be more creative. Mm. And even after all this time, it forced me to just really be more daring in some of the things that I chose to do. I've started some new endeavors. I've started another business. And it has just confirmed for me that this is the life that I should be living. And I'm just going to unapologetically walk in it. And I encourage others to do so as well. Yes. And thank so, you, Rose. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. And another thing, Ms. Renata, you're, give, you're doing a giveaway today. <laughs> yes, I am. What I'm is your giveaway? Free, I'm giving a free website so that when people book their travel, they save money. And they can even have the opportunity to earn money. And any details you want to know, just inbox me, Renetta Davis, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, oh, Ms. Renetta. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right, guys. So next up, I'm so excited about this. Next up, oh, we got Ms. France coming to the forefront. I want to make sure I fix this up. We got Ms. France coming up. Good morning. Good morning. I'm on outer space. Yes, I love it. So Ms. France, it, this has been a beautiful journey with you. I'm excited about our future endeavors together. And um, one thing I know is once uh, this um, platform is, is to its, its place, I know there's now I will have space to really connect on another level um, with, with everyone. So I wanted to ask you, um, with this particular project, um, one of the things we talked about was overcoming obstacles. So I want to ask you, what has been an obstacle you have been able to, able to overcome in your life? Okay. Well, so many, but the one <clears throat> speaking of at this stage, I'm in my latter part of life, I guess we'll call it, because I have retired as of uh, January of 2017. I retired from my regular teaching job. And um, I wanted to do something. I needed to continue to bring in some income. and But I wanted to do something that would speak to my soul more. And I didn't know what that would be. And so through different things that happened, I was able to First of all, I was trusting because one thing that I speak a lot about is the importance of connecting to, I call it our DGS, Divine Guidance System. We tune in and we connect and ask for, you know, what's my next best step? What, should, what would you like me to be or what would you like me to do? Those are the questions we want to ask. And so I follow nudges and I trusted that if I just got started, things would fall into place. And so I ended up putting together a list of all the things that I love. And mm. college and numerology were right there. <laughs> I love the, uh, to share. I like to teach because I, I, my third, this was my third career teaching. <clears throat> but I've always been a teacher. Even when I was in the uh, computer field, I would be a trainer and stuff like that. That's, I guess, part of me. And so I wanted to be able to educate people on the importance of toxic-free organic living because we live in such a world today 
when I was a little girl, my mom didn't have to worry about those things. You know, there wasn't as much of a toxic load everywhere. But now it's something that each one of us has to be concerned about. So I wanted to do something with that. And I'm thinking, how is this all going to come together? It didn't make sense, you know, for me to be able to touch on all the things that I love that would make my heart feel good when I'm doing it. Because when you do that, it's not working. It, it's just you're helping and you feel good. And so I ended up creating like a web of all these things and then realizing when I would try to make categories, I would realize they either had to do with body, mind, or spirit. Mm. And so I called myself a life improvement at first consultant, but then when talking to uh, Rose, I changed it to coach. And, <laughs> true. <laughs> and uh, realizing that what I'm doing is addressing one of those areas. You know, the thing that I do is either doing something for our body, our mind, or our spirit, and that we need to tend to all of them. If we want to be successful, we do need to address all of those areas. And so we can't be totally up, you know, in the other spiritual world only. We have to have a healthy, physical, you know, body temple as well. So anyways, that's what I do. Okay. So, so, so yes. So with this process and, and of, of doing this whole book project, what has been, well, I know one of the things that I've seen um, you transform, transform in the process. I don't know if you want to talk about that particular thing, but um, what is one main thing that has happened to you while you've been doing the book? That's probably the biggest one is that it's something I had on my, I don't like to do in um, um New Year resolutions. I do intentions because there's mm. a, you know, I, I'm very much into what is the meaning of the words and it's very important which words we use. And so one of the things that was on my list for years, my list of intentions every year would be to release weight. I don't lose weight because when you lose something, you can gain it again. You can find right. it again. Don't use that terminology. And I was never able to be successful. And then this year, again, I thought this is the year it's going to happen. Well, I ended up wanting to, I found a way to uh, move my body in dancing because I enjoy dancing. And so at the senior center, <laughs> I was taking tap dancing and jazz dancing classes. And I intended to start in January, but New Year's Eve, I broke a toe. So that was the universe telling me it's not time yet. You can't get into your shoes. You can't go dancing. And so then I started in February and then I found out that there would be a recital in June. And so I thought, okay, if I do this, I want to release 25 pounds. Now wow. that seemed like a big intention. And I went right on a Facebook Live and I said it out loud in front of people to hold myself accountable. Yes. And then I said, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I said, universe, you need to show me the way. Two days later, I found out the way the, the company that I work with, I'm affiliated with, which is non-toxic, uh, not non-toxic, that's it, toxic free and organic, announced a 28 day revolution, they call it, evolution. And it's to uh, improve our, our body, you know, it's uh, for up to, to create optimal health, but in the process, as a side effect, you release weight. So okay. now I'm releasing weight, but my body is so much healthier. I feel so good. People have noticed, you know, like it only took a few days when I started the first uh, initial, you know, like they do, like they talk about a five day or a 28 day. In the five day, it didn't even take five days. After maybe three days, I woke up. I had such clarity. Um, um, energy was wonderful. I don't crave crazy foods that I should not be eating anymore. It's, it's been wonderful. So now I'm down 30 pounds. Wow. So hands where, where the hand claps, where the hand claps. So thank you so much, Miss France, for being a part of this project. I cannot wait to, um, like I said, as we're finished, as we're wrapping up, I, I can't wait to connect with you. Um, I'll pass the book because now I'll be able to like, <laughs> did create a 28 day program because I took people along in, in June and okay. a couple people who had, you know, uh, health issues have, they're so thrilled. Things have okay. you know, 
Oh, and what are you giving away today as well? Today I'm giving away my um, 13 card astrology card reading. I do astro numerology readings on, on your own pers personal information, your birth uh, chart and like your blueprint for life. But I do a card reading. It's like a tarot, only it's with astrology cards. And because I've been doing astrology since 19, uh, I started in 1979 and astrology speaks to me so much. I found this awesome deck and I do it with astrology. So we cover all kinds of different things and it's, uh, we, I do it on Zoom and then the person receives an audio file to listen to it later as well. So that's what my offer is. Awesome. So thank you so much, Miss Franz. Hands, hands, hands. And we will see you soon. And everybody, make sure you, all her fans, all her raving fans and followers, check her out on her page. And I am getting ready to go to the next person we have. Miss Kim, where are you? Hello, hello, hello. Hey, how are you, gorgeous? <laughs> I am doing good today. How are y'all? You know what, man? I can I couldn't ask for a better Saturday morning. Um, you know, honestly, I, I'm so glad the way things are coming into order because I like I said last night, every single person in this project has been such a blessing to me to learn from. Yeah. And um, a lot of times people don't realize learning can be a sentence that you're supposed to hear from somebody, you just got to receive what you were supposed to get from that sentence or yeah. an experience or a lesson. But sometimes it's not even people teaching you anything. Mm. They're, just, they're just sharing with you something. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I get that part. But welcome on. Um, thank you for being on this morning. Um, yeah. Just excited to have you on. I'm excited to be on. <laughs> And now, now you are, you are, I'm so tired, but I'm good now. <laughs> but, but you're one of those, just say yes, uh, full-time entrepreneurs. Yes, full-time. You are full-time. Wow. Okay. Yes. I love this part. Yes. I love that. So <laughs> while you were doing this project, one of the questions that we had in the book, um, was about overcoming mm -hmm. and certain obstacles, which in today's world, there are lots of obstacles, and many times people don't always overcome them. So what is an obstacle you have been able to overcome that you can inspire everybody um, watching today? Um, yeah, well, one obstacle that um, I have been able to overcome is the fear of not being good enough, which I think that a lot of people uh, have that fear. Um, whenever I came to the realization that I have a purpose, um, that, that God created me to do something in the earth, that I'm not just here by happenstance or by accident. Uh, when I finally realized that, um, I still had those thoughts of in, those insecurities, those self doubts, um, all those things that came through the, the previous years of growing up and my experiences then that still would haunt me uh, when it come to when it came to stepping out into what I was called to do. So um, one of the what happened through the process of me being able to overcome not being good enough um, was that um, I like I said, after I realized that I had that, that I had a calling on my life and I had a purpose on my life, the first thing I did was really separate myself from things that were not, that were serving that lie, which that lie is that you're not good enough or you can't do this or, you know, you don't, you're not articulate enough. You're not smart enough. You're not this or that. You're not thin enough. You're not light enough. You know, you're too black. You're too did whatever that was, that was trying to keep me from walk stepping out into my purpose. I kind of got myself separated myself from, uh, especially people that I was around and certain organizations that I was a part of that kind of feeded that lie. Um, and there was friendships that weren't good for me that I ended up stepping away from. Um, I was in a ministry at that time, which I, nothing was wrong with that church. 
but it just wasn't what I needed for my next level. So I really, I separated myself from that. I even went to another city. I'm not saying everybody else has to do this. This was my journey. Everybody has their own journey. Um, but this was my journey. Um, I, I took time to meditate on, you know, God's word and, and seek him to, to get a greater understanding of who I really am and, and, what, I, and what I was called to do. Um, what was familiar was keeping me stuck. Those things that were familiar in my life at that time was keeping me stuck um, in doubt and insecurities and in fears, and I needed something different. So um, that's that's one of the, that's one of the things that I did. I separated myself from a lot of what was familiar. Um, yeah. I knew within my spirit that I had to get away from it. I knew it. That was the only way I was going to be able to um, move on. So that's why I, I stepped away from all those things. Um, was it easy at first? No, because all kind of crazy thoughts come into your head when you're stepping away from what you're familiar with and what you already knew. But, um, but what was greater was that push that was on the inside of me. Um, that was greater than, than what, you know, than that fear of, of what was going to happen. I had to answer the call. Um, it wouldn't leave me alone. Um, and, and I said, okay, I'm, 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 I'm going. Um, but that's really what helped me uh, to, to co overcome not being good enough. I'm a Christian and I truly believe in Jesus Christ. And I truly believe in um, the, the power of God through Christ, because that's how I became into, came into the family. Um, and that's what, that's what I went back to. Um, okay. that's what I went back to. Um, and like I said, through that process of separating myself, I, I, I started to see myself in a different way. I started to see myself the way God saw me. And when I started to see myself like that, that's when I became more, that's, became, that's when I became bold. That's when I, that's when I realized my power. That's when I realized that, um, I, I mean, I don't have to do everything perfectly. That if this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm created to do, then I am enough. I already am equipped for what he has called me to do and what he's created me to do. So um, that was my journey to overcoming not being enough. Oh, well, the fear of not being a well, I want to say that is an on point message. Um, even myself in a lot of the work that I do, one of the biggest things that I have come to realize is there's so many um things that people are trying to figure out, okay, how do I fix this? How do I get there? How and environment and your and your surrounding is so key. Yeah. Um, the environment you're in the people you're dealing with every single day, all of that stuff matters. So mm -hmm. when you say you had to uproot and to, to shift yourself and change yourself and, and, and go into an unfamiliar place, honey, I yeah. am so in alignment with that because I know the necessity. I, I've had the experience myself where I had to uproot and go into mm -hmm. the wilderness not knowing not knowing where I was going to stay, not knowing where I was going to be, not knowing what was next. But let me tell yeah. you something. <laughs> when you know that you know that you know that you know, and all yes. the signs come, they keep hitting you harder and harder and harder. Yes. It's like the it's like God is saying, you better just say yes or you're gonna regret it. Yes. You, yes. Because yeah. remember, this is one thing I want to <laughs> say. As trust me, y'all, I'm, I'm hyped today. <laughs> One thing I will say is that we can get all the signs. We can get all the things to get us to the next place, but we have free will. So you oh, can, yeah. you can yeah. be given the freedom. You can be given yeah. the opportunity, but it's up to you to say yes. It is up to you to take action, and it is up to you to keep renewing your mind so you don't get distracted so you can get it done. 
You know That's what right. I mean? So right. That, that right there is, is so important. I don't want to have a whole class on that. But um, the other question I want to ask you is this. <laughs> yeah, it's a big issue. I mean, you can, keep, you can say a lot about that. <laughs> let me tell you something. This morning, y'all, when I woke up and was doing my little meditation and my prayer and my gratitude and thanking God for everything, and so much was downloaded into me for where I move on from this moment. And this is nothing but confirmation. Trust me, we will be doing this again on different topics but one question i have for you with this whole process it's been a process yes, everybody in the last six months has had um something or multiple things occur to them and i love that um, um reginald said that he became a man in this process more of a man wow. really just wow. yeah yeah i'm an author and i got something to say and i gotta stand up even more of what i'm doing i gotta stop playing boy boy level and get to man level and and him going wow. through this process of now being a, a author wow say that uh unapologetically what has been one thing just one that has transpired for you in this process um my my faith level has grown through this process um because it it did take me not seeing because I, like i said I'm, we're full-time entrepreneurs and sometimes all the money is there and then there's sometimes it's not <laughs> it just it just depends even though it's growing now thank god we're getting bigger projects praise the lord for that but through this process um it it was it was definitely a faith walk um because all the finances for was not there um and we were working really hard just just trying to stay focused on on you know finishing everything because you know we was kind of worried about other things that were going on so but i just i just knew that this was something that i was supposed to do and um we had to really believe god for um for uh, for things concerning concerning the book so i i would say definitely my faith my faith level has grown um being a process being in this process and and being more tenacious um and about about um about what i know that i should be doing and what i know that i what i'm called to do so i would say definitely that during the during this process absolutely faith i will tell you um just because you're the last person that's going to talk on this subject just for me as we wrap up um one thing i will definitely say is um i have definitely looked at building business different in a sense of um you me being more responsible mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying me being more responsible in the process of whatever yeah. i do because sometimes it can look oh you're doing a good job no i could be doing better yeah. No, I could, I could be doing better. And for this process, for me, it was like, no, Rose, you could be doing better. You, there's a lot more you could be doing. So I want to yeah. thank you so much for being a part of this process. Yes. And, um, oh, and what are you giving away? I'm giving away a Be Bold uh, t-shirt. Okay. It's a white t-shirt with Be Bold in hot pink letters. So um, that's what I'll be giving away. Thank you so much, Miss Kim. Mm -hmm. We are getting well, ready for our next speaker. Yay, give her a wave, Clem. All right, right now. Thank you. Yes, I am <laughs> loving this. Listen, this is my official um, first, second, third, fourth, fifth masterclass of mastering this because, boy, I'm about to be beast mode doing this, y'all. <laughs> We're going to bring up Miss Taria. I can't wait to Taria ter come on because I'm going to act. Uh, she know I'm coming for it. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so excited. Miss Taria. Hey. <laughs> man, I, listen, I am so excited. Taria is a part of this book. This is a long wow. time coming, Taria. Yeah. This a long, you know, I want to say this because people don't know we've known each other for several years. And I just want to say to you that um I'm honored that you're doing this project with me because you could have did it with anybody else. And um the 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 meaning that the by me knowing you, I was a little bit more like pushy because I know your greatness. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's so many people that are praying for your message and your story that I wanted to push you a little bit more to, because you, you're one of those people 
that you have people back. You had it back. you like, I'm going to be there. I got you. You're that person. But at the same time, this is your time where you're in the front because people Ooh. are, they wait, they, they're like, where is she? <laughs> where is she? I need her. So now you have the book to, to guide you and lead you. It's like, you know, you want to support something, support your book. You want to, you want to, you want to come and help somebody, help somebody by pushing that book because now people can, before you say a word, they can say, oh, okay, this is this person. And um, I'm just honored that you said yes to doing this particular project. And um, I was excited just because I know I'm like, okay, come on, Taria. <laughs> Taria. Oh, yes. gosh. So, hey, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> no, I am no for real, for real, for real. Thank you, Rose, for pushing me because you do know it's it's crazy because listening to everybody, it just showed me that this was like a divine like connection. This had to happen, and this book is telling me that I just need to say yes. Like I know we're supposed to be inspiring other people, but this book inspired me. Like in this process of the six months, I had four or five other things I had to be a le in leadership for. And everything I had to say, just say yes. And you know, I don't like to be in the front. You know, I don't, this is an uncomfortable state. I know. I'm talking about, talking about just say yes. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I ain't finna. But I had to. And this is crazy because in this book, even though some of the things I said it already manifested, Mm. With writing it, it came to pass. And I think we just, I mean, this was just a testament to read. To read, you just don't have to say yes, and you're going to figure it out later. The resources is already there. The greatness, you already have everything in you. It's already there. What do you worry for? So this was a blessing to me. You hear me? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So this is awesome. Now just hearing everybody else's story, answering the question was just like, oh, I, 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 Kim, look, I'm there too, honey. I know from your past, you don't think you're good enough. You don't think you're great enough, but we are. We are. God already said we are. We are. That's it. Then Renelda, I mean, I'm not a full-time entrepreneur, but I have several businesses and that is where I'm going. So you know, like work on the job has never been comfortable for me either. I always have my own hustles. I always have my own businesses. You know what I'm saying? And then with friends, you know, on my spiritual journey now that I have, you know, it's like now I'm going to go with what, what the spirit is telling me. What is my instinct telling me right now? What is it telling me right now? Taria, should I go? Should I not? Should I? Yes. I have to listen to that now. You know, I, and then like, um, like he said, hey, I got to die this, of this flesh. I got to renew my mind every day. All right, y'all. All right. I'll, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Bro. Now, now listen. Now, I, look, please listen. I didn't know you was going to come over here and come from behind the scenes that fast and then the whole speech. But you know what? I'm feeling it, Taria. I'm feeling it. And one thing that I will tell you, everybody that's watching this video that I know for true is that we are all connected in some kind of way. And when we are in alignment with just saying yes, we also are in alignment with just being blessed to bless others. Yeah, because it, it's, it's not a transfer of just words. It's a transfer of energy. It's a transfer of blessing. It's a transfer of connection. It's a transfer of communication. It's a transfer of awakening. It's a transfer of confirmation. Because people are waiting for the confirmation or looking for the answer in a world that is so full of chaos and loud noise. Right. So I want to ask you this question, a part of the book. Um, and I specifically wanted you for this question. I'm glad you said yes. Um, you have done so many things, Taria, that people have no idea about you. Um, and I know you have a, a, a background in real estate and, and, and technology and, and, and you're a, a, one of those uh, good support friends and things like that. And, and, and you got other personal things in your life that are powerful. But where do you see yourself in your business in the next three years? In this last six months, things have shifted a lot for you yeah. in this process. 
So what you would have said last year this time is totally different from where you are now. So in three years, like just thinking about it, what do you believe you saying yes to today? Um, I definitely see that I will be a full-time entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And in my business, Discover Investments, um, this vision came to me a couple years ago where I, um, I've always been a real estate investor, but I never really told people about it. I just have properties or whatever. Um, but I always, I mean, it's a long story. Y'all got to read it in the book. <laughs> um, it, you know, I always had the desire to have multiple uh, properties for, to build wealth, to be the change in my family, um, to come from, you know, not having it, but then to also transition and give it to my family, my kids, you know, and it's just a, um, but in this transition, I started having people ask me, you know, once they find out, oh, how you do that? What you do? How you do that? How do you get properties? You know, these questions. And I'm like, oh, um, I never really thought about it, but it's like, it's time now for me to share and help other people first get the, their first property if they don't have it. If not, let's get multiple properties, you know, a fourplex. I mean, you want a 20 plex. I mean, commercial, the sky's the limit. You know, the, the, the thing that God gave here was land, you know, and we need to own some land. We need to have that. Um, so Discover Investments is helping um, people discover getting investment properties. Um, and that could be to get for the flip, to get, you know, money right away. It could be for rentals, for long-term wealth. It could be even Airbnb, you know, short-term rentals. There's so much now out here. And I had to say yes to even becoming a realtor to be a professional in it because I didn't want to be no realtor, like a realtor. But I, at this time, I knew I had to show up as a professional too because yes, I have a history of being a, a, a an investor, but I still have to prove that yes, I can be a professional in this. So that's why I have my real estate license, y'all. Hey! So in three years, I definitely see me helping I would say thousands of people get investment properties or helping them get to what they see or their vision or, you know, getting, you know, real estate properties or paying off their properties is because that's my goal. Lord Jesus is to pay off the debt of my property. So that is some of the things uh, that's the big vision I see. And then also um, getting a brokerage firm, you know, cause after you got to wait two years, after your real estate license to even become a broker, but I'm like a broker. I didn't even want to be a real estate agent, but um, I'm going to have to have those things to help other people because there is a lot more to come with it to just purchasing. You're going to need um, somebody to um, manage your properties. You're going to need an electrician. You're going to need a plumber. It's so much to come with that. So I want to be that truth that's saying, like, I deal with this every day, you know, and I want to be that help. So that's kind of where I see myself in three years. And then personally, um, me and my husband, um, we're, you know, I'm already going to claim that we're going to have our golden child. Yes. <laughs> so I am speaking that also. And uh, that's kind of it. That's just kind of, I'm just excited because these three months, if I just keep saying yes to what I'm supposed to do, yes. what has happened in the last six months, I can't even imagine what three years is going to be, y'all. Uh, I'm for real, for real. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Woo! Oh, yeah, y'all. Y'all got to get y'all books. I got my book is yesterday. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes thank you so much Taria and you know what just before we wrap up with you um I've been asking everybody um one thing that has transpired and you kind of already said it um one of the big things that I know when you were going through your um real estate I was like girl you already got it you know and the great the great thing about um the process it and, and, and I go through my journey now because I'm this morning it was like God was like didn't I tell you to do this so <laughs> <laughs> like I know that um it's so much more when it comes down to getting your real estate license than people realize and um I want to say this to you before I go to the next person just so you know when we go through these processes of getting these licenses the question we have to ask ourselves is not okay I'm going to get this license but 
what network and what opportunities of people am I opening myself up to? Mm-hmm. And that's that's the game. That's the conversation piece. We're gonna do that on another, we're gonna do that on another video. Okay. But um it's a it's a it's a it's a huge world out there. And um, I'm just excited that you came on board with this project and um we got a lot of work to do. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of yeah. people to educate and bless. So thank you so much, Taria. Yay! real estate extraordinaire okay all right guys thank you so much for miss taria i'm just like yes 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 um next up let me see who's on my list on my list oh miss barb miss barb miss barb yes let me get miss barb on do i do i mean yes hey miss barb how are you good morning good morning can you hear me I absolutely can. You're looking good this morning. I do what I can. Thank you. <laughs> look, like, look, like, like, like they used to say when I was younger, everybody not able. Everybody, everybody not. ain't able. Well, we do what well, we let can. Me, let me say it the right way. The country way is everybody ain't able. Everybody ain't able. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, so, Miss Barb, listen, I know you have so many great things going on. I know in the process, it, uh, you were doing a lot of traveling. Yeah. And you do a lot of you do a lot of work in especially in the health area. So in in this particular project of just saying yes, I want to ask you what keeps you going no matter what? What makes you go and not stop because even even when you want to stop, what keeps you going because like I said through this process, whenever we contact you were traveling, you were doing presentations, you were seeing clients, I mean, I'm like, Miss Barb does not play. How, what is that, that factor that uh, fuels you to do what you do? My desire to help people to um, be their best self. I um, became a health coach because my mother was an insulin dependent diabetic who actually lost a leg. And when I began research, I discovered that three out of four uh, African Americans are obese, not overweight, obese. Wow. Three out of four people in the future, if they don't change their life, will be diabetics. And I wanted to help people make a change. So I can't stop. You know, the fact that I've lost and gained over 100 pounds makes me um, believable. You know, one of our co authors said earlier, I'm not good enough, or you feel that way that, um, well, I can't tell somebody how to lose weight, how to eat better because I don't do everything right. Well, it's not about doing everything right. It's about doing the right thing consistently. It's about being committed to yourself and I'm committed to helping people make a commitment to themselves. Wow. Yes, yes, that's it. I love that part. I love that part um, about the, the, the last part you said about the doing it every day and being consistent in it. I'm um, myself currently, I remember yesterday, I was so excited because um, I was getting ready to leave a friend that I'm going to help out today launch her business. And she said to me, where are you going? You guys going out to eat at such and such place? And I said, no, I'm actually going to Ada's, which is a, a whole nat- whole food natural place. And I said, I'm going to go there. And I was so happy with myself going in. Um, I got some plant-based chips that that are beet my daughter likes the beet ones i let her try it yesterday we got some fresh tuna i got fresh kale she drank water not juice um and i said to myself okay i'm on my way i because i really honestly i want to be a better mom for her and i kept trying to think like well well what does that look like for her food wise and it, it gets to the point where you just want to feel better. You want to so bad. And then it's kind of like uh, 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 Ms. France was saying and some of the other people, it shows up. Oh, absolutely. The you know, so- we really have to learn how to eat for life, which of yes. course I have to thank you for. Oh, but you get so on good. something so, um, so powerful because children, our children, our grandchildren, they do what we do. Yes. Not necessarily what we say. They look at you and they emulate and repeat what you 
do. And that becomes so important. And I use that information in my coaching business because if you, if the serving size is gigantic and it should be this size, those children are going to eat what you place in front of them. If you have five servings of Coca-Cola, they're going to have five servings of Coca-Cola. Yeah. But when you focus it and see, you, you've said so much that you don't even realize what you said because transformation has to be undergirded by a why. See, it's not about, oh, you can say anything, but it's what you do. It's the fact that you love your daughter. You're mm -hmm. concerned about your child's future. That's transformation. Your why becomes so powerful that this isn't about me being a size eight. This is about this little one who's looking at me, who's depending yes. on me, whose yes. very life yes. and the life of my grandchildren will be affected by this child. Yes. So the choices that you make today, they're going to impact your, not only your child, but your children's children. Yes. So that's where I am. I, I'm, I'm, as I'm listening to you, I want to say this before we wrap up. I want to say one of the other things when you say that why that I had been thinking about and I didn't realize it was a why is that I want to be able to dance with her because she loves to dance. So I'm looking at the stuff on the TV and I'm trying to do it. I'm like, hold up. I want to be able to get on the stage and we dance and she likes seven or eight and we break it down. It's like, wow, her mom's cool. Like, yeah, I am cool. But anyways, <laughs> that's in my head. But, um, Thank you so much. I want to ask you one more question before I let you go. What has been one thing that has transpired um, since you've done this project? You said something about um, we came up with a, uh, um, a a brand for you that uh, really is an international brand statement mm -hmm. that will change the course of so many lives. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit, that because that's one main thing that that birthed from this project. Well, you know, it was certainly insight from you. And I know it was a word from God because it resonated with me and we acted on it immediately. Um, my goal is to teach people how to eat for life, not to go on a diet, not to go on some yes. 20 pounds in 20 days, but to learn how to make positive choices. What I've learned from this um, journey with these amazing people is that I have a new level of commitment and a new level and sense of completion. It doesn't matter how long it takes me to get there. Every day that I move forward, every day that my clients move forward, we're one step closer. And you know, I'll tell you this before I finish. It doesn't matter if you fall off, fall over, get up. It's okay. Because you can begin again every day. Every day that the Lord gives you new mercies, you got a new opportunity to get it right. So. Rose, before we go, I want to thank you from the depths of my soul. I want to thank you for pushing me, for irritating me, for making me uh, stay committed, and for offering this opportunity to me. God bless you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. You know, I remember one time you inboxed me. You was like, am I asking too many questions? I was like, child, please, no. I mean, I'm, I'm, I know it's a process, and for so many people out there that want to do a book, mm -hmm. they don't, or they don't have the time or the process. And when I got involved with this project, which I'm gonna talk about at the end, um, it was something that I asked for in 2017. Mm -hmm. So I, I'll talk about that at the end. But thank you so much, Ms. Barb. This is not the end, y'all, because um, we got I got lots of stuff coming up um, after this project, as far as a lot more um, classes um, on educating people on all of the topics that we've been talking about today because it goes in alignment with what was downloaded in me today that I literally guys went online and actually posted for me to do last year this time, one year ago this time. So thank you so much, Ms. Barb. We getting ready to bring on our last speaker of the day, Ms. Shakita. You there, Ms. Shakita? Good morning, I'm here. Yay! Listen. <laughs> We right on time, y'all, to shine. I'm so glad um, that you guys are on and we're still watching. Everything is going so well. Hey, Miss Shakita, how you doing today? I'm doing just amazing. It's fantastic. I feel energetic. I feel great. You know. That's okay. That's okay. I got one too. <laughs> I, I went outside to try to get away and then they're trying, they're following me. But yes, I feel fantastic. I'm coming back on the house. Please. Thank you. Let me let me say something real quick for everybody's watching why I respect 
Shakita so much. Shakita is that real deal entrepreneur, mother, wife. Um, she does it all. Uh, has a job, has a business, has uh, is a multi multi author. Um, is a supporter, is a speaker, is a um um train. She does she does it all, and she's been able to accomplish this other project as well, and still do everything else. So for that, thank you for showing everybody that you can do it all and still be a great mom and still be a great wife at the same time right yes thank you when i started this project i mean it wasn't for me it was also for me because it helps build my confidence as well wow. but it was also for other people to help others yeah so when i got into these book projects it was basically for me to reach another level and to help other people reach another level as well Right. And so, so you in this book project, we were talking about procrastinating. What was what is one thing you want to tell everybody that's watching about procrastination? Because you 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 don't really you you move and shake every day. So you so tell us about the procrastination part and how to stop those or educate people that are procrastinating why they need to move and how they can move. Okay. When it when it clicked for me was when I lost my son to gun violence so very young. And he was only 10 months old. So that when that happens in my life, it just made me think about, wow, you know, time is so precious. There's, you know, not enough time. You know, um, death doesn't have age on it. There's no number on death. And that's when it started to click in my head that I don't have time. So the things that I want to do, I need to start doing these things now. And a lot of times we procrastinate because we're overthinking. We're thinking about these things that overwhelm us. And when we think too much, we start to get overwhelmed. So the best strategy, you know, for procrastinating is basically not thinking about it, just doing it. And when you think about all those special moments in your life, all that time that's taken away from our day-to-day -day routine that we have with our kids and working, those moments are precious. So when you think about those precious moments and you think about, you know, taking that step in your life ahead, just think about time and think about, you know, time it not being enough time in a day. There's not enough time in a day to do all the things that we want to do. So you want to have a sense of urgency about whatever you want to do. And I know working in the 911 emergency for over 15 years, I have to be urgent with everything. So when those calls come in, I have to think really fast. So I start to kind of incorporate those things in my life daily and start to have a sense of urgency about the goals that I want to reach in my life, about the things that I want to do while I'm still here living and healthy. And that's just where it started. And that's where it started to click. So basically have a sense of urgency about the things that you want to do because time is so precious and we don't have enough of it. Wow. So um, one thing I want to ask you, and that was so powerful because as you're talking, I'm thinking, and I'm like, I could, I, I couldn't even imagine um, that experience. And then you work for the police. Ah, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, what has been one thing that has transpired in the last six months? An awakening for you. I know one thing was you, uh, you ascended in one of your companies to uh, an astronomical level, and um, so. You tell us what has been one, one major thing that has happened to you in the last six months. Yes, I hit a major level in my company, which was district leader um, in the financial services industry. And if all of you know about the real estate model, the life insurance and investment industry also has the real estate model of having being a brokerage. So I just hit the first level of being a brokerage in the life insurance industry. And my goal is to hit a ridiculous level in this company and basically retire myself because I have about 10 more years in my industry now, you know, as a 911 operator. So my goal is to build that foundation that when I retire, I'm set. I don't have to go back to work. So basically it's all about time freedom. But yes, that was a major milestone in my life. I had never done that in any company before. So I was just like blown away. Right. And we're going to talk more about that after because I, I was telling you some things. But I want to thank you, Shakita, because not only um, did you come on board with this project, but you were one of the, the highlights of my last book project. And uh, we got some big things coming. Um, 
uh, for the end of the year, probably the beginning of the year that I'm going to be putting together for um, people if they want to take on, take on the stage. So I'm excited about that um, as well. So thank you so much, Shakita. Go ahead yes. away, Shakita. I'm excited, boys. I have big things to come. I'm just ready to go. I'm always ready. Yes, I know. All right, guys. So I'm going to make a make sure. I don't know if we had one more person that was jumping on, but um, I don't think she jumped on. I sent her the message. Okay, that's okay. So guys, um, I want to say this. Since I'm the last person, I want to say um, to to everyone. Hold on. Okay, I want to say this to everybody. Um, my question to myself is. If uh, I could go back 10 years ago, what would I tell myself to, from 10 years ago? And I would have been, oh my gosh, okay. So I would have been in my 20s at that time. And this is what I want to share with everybody. Um, all, of, all of us watching this video should do this exercise. You need to take some time, get in a quiet place and go back to yourself 10 years ago. And look at where you were and write down what advice you would have given yourself 10 years ago to yourself. 20 years, it's a little, uh, you can do 20, but 10 years is more um, of a ability because what you can also do is go 10 years ahead of yourself and look at yourself 10 years ahead of yourself and say, whoa, 10 years ahead, I would have told myself this so I could be here in the next 10 years. Because this is what you got to realize. It's coming regardless. <laughs> you want it to or not, the time is coming. So if I could go back in time, and that's in the book, um, 10 years, I would definitely tell myself to put myself first and stop trying to um, put everybody else first. Um, I would have definitely did more research on um, um, abundance and receiving because I was in a place of building I was building a, a massive business at the time and um actually I was I was attracting let me say that I was attracting and manifesting at a very very high level and didn't understand what was really going on at that time because it's just like everything was super 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 um fast for me but I definitely would have took more time to understand business and I would have took more time to understand investing um, if I could have 10 years ago. So with that being said, I'm now having a conversation with myself now for my 10 years in the future. And I suggest that people do the same thing. It may sound a little weird, but if you sit back and think about, if you sit back and think about um, yourself 10 years ago, or even five years ago, like really become conscious of that, you're gonna be like, man, I should have did this and I should have did that and I should have did this and I should have did that. But with that being said, guys, I wanna say thank you for everybody being a part of this. And what we're gonna do, what we're going to do is, I don't understand. What we're going to do, give me one second, guys. We're gonna see, I don't know how we can, um, it's so much stuff coming in on my phone. Ha ha ha. Um, hold on, I have one more author. Um, let me see. But what we're going to do now, if you guys want to, I don't know if you can because I'm going by my phone. Um, she says she's on here. I don't see her on here. Oh. All right, so what we're gonna do, let me see. I don't see her on here. Okay, well, as far as the giveaways, guys, if you want to, um, let me see, because a lot of people are, we have people online. I see people online, but does that mean you guys can see other people online too? Authors. Let me see. All right, so what we will do is um, for those of you that want to post it on your page and then you can choose somebody today. Is that cool with everybody for the book project? I mean, for the book giveaway? That works for me, Rose. This is Renetta. Okay. 
I just yeah. want to, yeah, I want to make sure that because I know you guys are posting. Miss France, does that work for you? I'm not sure what you're asking. That we oh, don't... what I'm saying is for the giveaway. Yeah. Because okay. it's hard for me to see everything on my phone. What I was going to say was if we all just post that we're doing a giveaway and then we can just randomly pick somebody to give something away to for because of the book launch today. So we'll just see who's on and, and yes. And you can just do a random pick. Yeah. Do a random pick from your, the group of people. Okay. Cause I, I want to make, I, huh? Are there enough prizes for each of us to pick somebody from our um, list of people? No, you, you're just going to pick from the group of people you see on yours yes. and then give them something. Everybody's going to just pick somebody and give something to them on from their, their own. their own private watch party. Yeah. From their own list of people. Right. Cause it's, Cause right now I, I can't see everybody's and we can't see everybody's groups. So we're not doing the prizes that were listed. Yes, we are, but you're going to do it on your own. Okay. So on your, on your, let me see if I can see your page. I had two people comment. So I know two people have been on, but I don't know. I don't know. It's not showing me. Like I see eight people are watching, but I don't know if that's from my page or uh, from your main. So, so what you can do today, if anybody wants to do it this way, you can, because Ms. France is good at posting the, the book and everything. You can either say um, everybody that has, um, that comments here, I'm doing a grand, uh, a grand giveaway for my book today. And then you can pull somebody from there because um, remember, this is our first time doing this big thing. It is. It didn't put it all together. It is all separated, so it's a little harder than we thought it was going to be. I give my prize to the people in in my community. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. That's how we're going to do it since we can't see everybody. Right. Okay. So, guys, listen. I want to say thank you so much for being a part of this project. We still got a little bit left um, when we get done um, today, but I want to say this. This is not the end. Um, I did. Um, oh, just to talk about this project, just so people know, I do book collaborations um, to not just to create a book, but okay, 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 but not just to create a book, but for people to have um, um, an opportunity to connect with new people, to birth new things out of them in the process, and then have something tangible tangible because I know so many people have invested in this and that and that and that and that and there's nothing that comes from it a lot of times because they didn't know what they were really getting and what I like about this process you know you're getting this that you can whether you see me next week or see me you still have it and you can still showcase it and and, and then you market other people and somebody can read somebody's story and be inspired and bless somebody else with it so it's a process so I'm just excited about this I'm excited about my next project I'm excited about um the movement I'm getting ready to launch that I thought about two years ago and I just watched a video of myself telling me that it was 2017 and I'm like wait a minute it's 2019 now I'm behind schedule. So uh, for everybody that's watching, I, I challenge you, I challenge you to grab the book and I challenge you to just say yes and be unapologetic about who you are and what you do. Anybody else got a few words before we leave? I do. Okay, yeah. go for it. Okay, so you all know I get into astrology, numerology. So when I saw this opportunity, of course I had to see what just say yes, uh, what number that reduces to or adds up to. <clears throat> and it adds up to 19. And in numerology, 19 is a one and a nine. It's like the bookends. It's like the alpha and the omega. Infinite possibilities can arise from, from 19. And it reduces to 10. 19, one and nine is 10, which reminds us that we always want to keep our mindset elevated. So whatever we attract is of that higher elk and then that reduces to one which means starting something new taking action and so on that's the energy of just say yes so i joined yes yes all right thank you guys so much and you know um thank you thank you for every single person on here that has been a blessing to me and your message is going to be a blessing to so many people guys i will see you in the group 
Thank you everybody for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.